Hi everyone, hope you're doing great. Today I'm going to show you how to light metal inside of 3ds Max and using V-Ray. Then you can use this metal to any 3D software that you use like Blender or Cinema 4D for example. So today's topic we're going to be focusing on this part of metal right here, not the whole scene. It's going to be the next subject for the video. But this thin part here is a metal and you can see here that you can see the difference from the background, the back of the phone and the side that is pure metal. And how you're going to see it, we can first look at some reference. So when you take a reference of 3D metal or any photograph metal, of course all of these are 3D images. As you can see here, there is a ramp, a gradient of the light. So you can see that the light is hitting here and it's fading out. And that gives the metal look of the objects. As you can see here, it's it here and it just fade to the bottom. And you can clearly see that this fading create, they give this realism of the metal. You can take another example here, the light it here, and it just fade to the color, to the darker color, and that gives the real sense of metal. Another example is here, this part here, you can see that this is where the light hits, and then it just fade to black. So this fading, these gradients give the metal look. And how you achieve that in real life is by using a thing called softbox. So this is like, I'm going to show you a grid image. Here you have the light source. And the light source is producing a light that's going down this way. And this whole white sheets, it's just diffusing the light. And it's not going to be an even light, like straight through that, you're just gonna even distribute light through this whole stuff and you're gonna make a cone like that of a diffused light. So the, the brightest part is gonna be here and the whole of this is gonna be like less intense. And you can see here too, you can see that light bounce and it hit somewhere here, the background, and this light here hit there and then it's fade out. Same this way, you can see the spot right here and it's diffused from there and just giving an even light. Without that, you're going to have strong shadows that is not very appropriate for trying to achieve metal lighting. So how do we replicate that inside of 3D software? It's fairly easy, but let me show you my lighting setup first, and then we can show you the different options. So I'm going to get my V-Ray IPR viewer here, so you can see in real time what's going to happen. Uh, don't mind the bending in the viewer, it's just, for, it's just a GPU preview for just to show you inside the software. So I have my background here and it's lit from the bottom and it's just lit to the top. Also have a light coming from the length. So this one is just lighting this part. So just lighting the length. I have my main, it's called the top main. So it's coming from here. It's from the top. It's just the main source of light. I got my soft back from there that giving the, the first gradient that we see. And I have my rim light that's gonna give my clean here white edge that gives the the rim light to distinct the background and the phone. And now we need one light here. So you can see that all of these light affect this side of the phone and this one is not affected right now because this is this is controlled by one light called metal. That I call it metal. Actually you can call it whatever you want. <laughs> but I call it metal. So we can turn it on and you can see now that you just have this created. But how do we create that inside of uh, 3ds Max and V-Ray? So let me just show you something. So if I clear this you can see that if I put just a random plane light and if I just move it or make it back, it changes the look of the light. And I can put it like brighter and stuff like that, but it doesn't fade. Even if I just put it at one to five, it's not fading. It's just pure reflection color all the way through. And it's not giving this cool metal look. It's just like a, a main light source are just fighting the side so it's not very what we want to achieve we want to have a, a soft stuff that is going to be good gradient to for the light to apply on the shader so to achieve that we just open the material editor and you have something called the viewer softbox so we're going to create one with you and it's exactly the same name as real life it's called softbox so you use the viewer softbox and there you go so you can create a hotspot so this is going to be as you saw here this part so you tell V-Ray to create a bright spot inside of the middle of the white square. You just click on 
and then what you can do is just go here and take that and plug it inside your map here and we, we just want to instance that okay so now that we have that we can just try to see at the same time here the result so now our softbox is applied so you realize that nothing actually changed here because we have to go down a bit as you can see here there is some various option to be to be played with so we can first for getting the first gradient apply the frame and when you apply the frame first thing you'll notice is that it's already affecting with the gradient something will change if you just unlock it pure white and if you use the frame it just kind of fades now if you we don't want this to be too strong so we're just going to take the black point here and put it like a little bit of gray and then you can move you can move it around and you can see here in the real-time preview that this is changing the look of our metal and you can play around with that you can just like flip it if you want just take it like this you can go and just like use it as you want to just have a, a more like gradient stuff and you can play also with the light position you can move it back a bit to just have the spot in a different place so you can just move up to the spot right here and then it fades it fade to down and you can also have the v vignette in u vignette it just uh, you can see here v is just the bottom and you can just like crunch it and you just like remove the light from the bottom and you can just go this way to just open up but don't go pure black i will always go to a dark array so here we go and then you can just push it back to the left here and then you obtain your subtle metal effects that really really sell this metal look i'm going to just stop my hyper here and i'm going to give you a much better v-ray hyper quality and you can see here that we have a cool metal look right here and that's it for the tutorial you can see that it's very very easy to get a nice metal shadow that look like great for pretty commercial uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want more tutorials like that i'm gonna make a full uh, tutorial about how to uh, texture render and light this specific scene and uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see this subject like the whole lighting scene in the next video or a full cyclo setup for product animation so just let me know in the comments and make sure to subscribe so have a nice day everyone see you in the next one